Hi Pisces, I got my little pajamas on. Yes. All right now. I have taken me, I cannot wait to reach wherever I'm at because I want to open up my store. Um so that you can see all the things that I do. You know, I showed you offers salt water, salt bath scrubs for your body that is really salty and it's good for you and it's not like something you just put it's it's a scrub that dead skin and it's very spiritual and this nice firmy oil that sits in your body like I took one this morning because I felt like I needed to just shave that skin that you know when you don't feel right shave it off and that's what I did this morning so I am feeling good so let's get started on your reading don't forget to wash your hands do not put your hands in your face watch your surrounding you know surroundings and people around you um also Pisces um boy was I awakened this morning to some real spiritual thoughts and it's definitely some real spiritual things going on. Pisces, one thing I'm going to tell you before I even open up these cards and do this reading, and I'm talking about in the spiritual energy that I have, I want to tell you that no matter what is going on in your life, no matter who is coming in your life, when this is over, it's going to be a huge, huge gift. And it's like you open in a box and Pandora is coming out. Or this, you know how you, you have this genie and this genie comes out and everything breaks loose. Do you understand? The reason why I'm telling you this, Pisces, before I get in this reading is because don't lose yourself. Don't lose yourself. Do you understand? Because I feel, and I didn't even start to read it, that it's someone coming back into your life from your past. And I don't literally feel like it's something bad. The only thing I want to say is Remember how far you come from this past. Remember where you was when it was in this past, right? And this time around, don't lose focus on you. Don't lose focus on what you got going on. And be yourself, be true. Because you don't want nobody controlling you like they were. And you feeling like you was their everything. Their everything. But not, you lost yourself because you gave too much. Don't do that again. Okay? Like, seriously. Like, now that you stuck where you're at, and they're stuck where they're at, y'all need to get it here and get out the feelings and I don't know who I'm saying this to but I'm literally feeling this and if and if Pisces you're living in your past and you cannot let go of this wound that you've been carrying for years over this person that did everything to you under the sun that you allow to do. If you learn, and it may be the hardest thing for you to do, because if you're feeling like this, you know what it is? Is that this person still occupies that space, that spiritual space in your life and in your well-being. I'm talking about spirit, because this ain't nothing. What's inside of you 
controls everything. Do you understand? It's like if you ever been in a coma, people say, oh, they send they all tubed up. Oh, they don't know I'm crying. They send they crying over you. But inside of you, you can hear all of that. I've been there, okay, where I could not get up and speak. I can hear everyone talking to me, all right? And literally talking. That means they sitting there fighting, fussing, blah, blah, all this. And I couldn't get out to talk. It's the worst feeling in the world. Do you understand being stuck inside you but cannot speak, cannot move, being stuck? It's, it's the worst feeling that you can feel. When I talk to you, I tell you these things because I experienced it. It's the hardest feelings to know that someone is at your bedside. Sitting there crying, fussing, all kinds of things going on. But you tubed up and you can't get out of yourself. Do you understand what I'm saying? So what I'm telling you is, I don't wish that on nobody. All right, that's why I live my life the way I live today. Because God knows when I came out of that, you have to go and learn how to walk, talk. The littlest things that we take for granted is what you have to learn to do. Then you start seeing people for who they really are and who's really there for you to feed you, to nurture you back. Right? Because you're starting all over again. You can't even pick up the washcloth to wash yourself. You got to depend on everyone to do everything for you. When I came out of that, I made a vow to go back to this person that did me so wrong. And I faced them. We had this conversation. All right. We really threw darts at each other. It wasn't a good conversation. But at the end of the conversation, I told them, where I was in the hospital and why I was there in the hospital not being able to move and sitting there hearing because I couldn't speak coming out of it I couldn't even I thought I had control over my hand so I can write I couldn't pick up the pencil to make a letter because I had no control over my muscles. But in my head, I thought I did. So I just sat there and cried and all they could see was tears. I couldn't even talk, so all I did was cry. Feeling sorry for who? Myself. And in no moments, the whole time I sat there, because people left and went home, your family. So I sat there with these nurses and did, I didn't know nobody. But I got into myself, not in the outside because I couldn't do shit in the outside. But in the inside, I could. I promised myself when I came out, if I ever got back to being normal, I made a vow to God that I would go back and fix things this time around. When I mean this time around, this time around, it's the, my second time of life and I'm so precious. Do I, do I love it? 
I honor myself. I love myself. I respect myself. I'm loyal to myself. And I'm telling you this because we live in so much what they done and they did. And we carry scars all in us. And still you think that they're not stabbing you, but they are. Because you are that knife and that knife is pierced inside of you. They will not let you, I don't care how happy you think you are or where you're at because you don't see this person and you're waiting for this to come. No. Until you face what you cost this, you will not be able to move. Because life, the beginnings are always the best in your honeymoon stage in every level of your life. You get a new job. At first you think it's wonderful. Then when you get in it, you find out how it really is, how people are, how the job is, how wow. You know what I mean? You get a brand new car. At first you're in love with the car, but then what? Start giving you problems. Put money to fix it. You get into a relationship at first. It's the best thing ever, right? But then what? I got something stuck on my teeth right there. Sorry. It's not funny, but I didn't mean to do that. But you get in a relationship, right? And then what? Then that's beautiful at the beginning. Then what? Down the line? Guess what? What got you all in the back is facing you again. So what I'm trying to say is, I didn't think that I could ever get past this from so much hurt that this person caused me. But me being in that bed, inside of me, and I'm talking about inside, that means this flesh was in the outside, but nobody knew that spirit in me connected a real connection. And that's the only thing that was there. It was saying, calm down, because you cannot fight this. If you calm down, you're going to be okay, because I swear, in the inside, I panic. Like, am I going to live? Am I going to die? Why am I looking like this? Why can I talk? Why can I? At one point, I couldn't even see. I don't know how long I was like that without seeing. I don't even know how long I was in that bed. I don't know how many days it was. I don't know. But when I came out, and I'm not talking about literally came out and because it took a long time. Physical therapist was a long time. Me walking, everything was a long time. When I got to a point in my life where I can do everything again, that's when I literally reached out to a friend of a friend of his. And it was like he was waiting for me. It was weird, but he was waiting for me. And happy and bitter and everything, just like I was, he was. But once we started talking, somehow, at first it wasn't good, but once we started talking, because it ain't like he calls me all the time or I call him. It's like once in a blue moon thing, we really do connect on a whole nother level. And I respect that. And I thank him for that because now I live my life so peaceful and so happy that I learned to move on. And I'm not saying that it was a crazy, but that this newfound life was peaches and cream, but it wasn't like that. I mean, 
before I went and we started talking the past, what I was, relationship I was seeing after him seems to be the same way that was. But once I confronted it, it got so much better because I finally smoothed that edge of that wound that was sitting on top of me. I smoothed it. It didn't go away, but I learned that I can live and I can love again. And it's not creeping and it's not my shadow anymore. And that is what I'm trying to say to you. Okay? So now I will start my reading. Because I have to say that. I want you to know I am real as you are. And I don't sugarcoat nothing. I call it like I see it. So take a good look and not hold your love, your happiness because of your past that you can talk about all the time. But know that you're talking about it means you still know it, feel it, and it's there. So that's the end of this. Okay, thank you. Moving on. And uh, I love you no matter what. I'm here for you no matter what. Through the goods and the bad, I'm here. Um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And we're going to grow together. Okay? So, let's go. Let's get going. <sighs> I'm sorry. I just had to say that. All right? So, here we go, Pisces. Pisces, Pisces. I have burned everything up. Yes, I did. Here we go. And Jojo is my um, French bull dog. Come up here and jump right over here because he likes saying hi for some reason. And he likes to be seen, but he, oh, he makes his showcase around. And my Yorkie is sitting in the other room because I got to separate or I never get this reading done. Because they forever acting up together. It's like um, two people, they love each other, but fight each other all damn day. And cannot get over each other. And I don't know if they fight in a plan, but I don't know what it is. I just know that she's little and he's bigger than her. And I always feel like he's tearing her little butt up. So, here we go. I shuffled them already, but I like for you to see me shuffle them. And also, I don't do reverse. Because the way I read it, if I see it reverse, I'm going to say it reverse. Okay? Whatever I see, I say. So, Spirit, please connect me to Pisces. Connect me to Pisces spirit. Please. There you go. You got the six of wands. Six of wands. Your dreamer. Your plan your plans are finally fulfilled. Hard work. Carefully planned. Results in success, baby. Fame, public recognition, and honor, victory over what? Oppositions, okay? Trump is, honey, a blowing for you in this success, positive effort on your self-esteem. You are being blessed in this parade. Avoid arguments, finance rewards for hard work. The 
this is a wand. It has a lot of sexual meaning to it. I keep telling people about these wands, how sexual they are. How they look at you very sexual. Can't stop saying it. You're beautiful, Pisces. You're beautiful beings, son. And I'm as beautiful, you're beautiful. It's something about Pisces that people cannot get enough of. Something about you, Pisces, that people cannot get enough of. And I can't get enough of you. Shit. I'm, I'm a Pisces like you. And I'm a full Pisces, okay? Full. I got Aquarius in me, but a lot of Pisces, okay? I am worthy of success, and I am grateful that I am seen. Are you? That's funny, because Pisces, y'all not really like to be seen. Y'all like in y'all cubby holes all the time. Like, this is not affecting y'all, because this is y'all anyway. I keep saying that. But y'all are beautiful people, beautiful people, badasses in success, badasses. You hear me? Y'all some badass people, okay? Um, leadership, accomplishment, being seen, becoming an influence, victory, very spiritual. And wands are people very, very, very spiritual people. Yes, they are. Yes, they are, honey. Wands are very spiritual people. and But they're very sexual people. Mm, hello. And Pisces, y'all sexual anyway, because y'all something else, honey. Y'all will turn somebody out. Shit, they fall fall in love with y'all because of y'all sex, not because of anything else. Honey, y'all got that, that naturally stamped on y'all. That's crazy. And it's like y'all really not like real crazy over it. It's like they, they go crazy, but you're not like, uh-uh, you good. You know what I mean? You good. Area Sagittarius or Leo. Hey. Yes, baby. So, let me move on to the next card. And you know I have multiple cards when I do my readings because I want to see what this is all about. What is it all about? So I work with like, I don't know, six cards, different cards, unless they all pop up, um, two out of one deck at the same time, then I have to take them. But here we go. Here we go, Pisces. Whoa, they are flying out. That card was like you was, I don't know. I've seen some birds, so I don't know what that means. I ain't seen a whole card, but I, let's see what's going to come out. Talk to me about this Six of Wands. Around Pisces around, honey. What is it? To be in knowledge and running the show, Pisces. Very successful. Whoa. Very successful. So, Pisces. Right, this card flipped over. The Ten of Swords in your thoughts. Source all up in your thoughts, Pisces. Why are we up in our thoughts, spirits? Tell me why Pisces are in their thoughts, spirits. Talk to me and tell me why Pisces are in their thoughts. Because you know, when I um, am talking to you and I Look at this card. You are what? You're healing? I just said that before I even started doing the reading. Healing. You need to heal. Because you got a lot of wounds that you need to face. You're healing. Painful endings. I said it. Crisis. Maybe where we're at. Being stabbed in the back. I said that. An opportunity to find deep healing. You need to do that. An opportunity to find hope and 
hope and serenity. Um, uh, you know, when I look at this Ten of Swords, it's time to build trust, to lift up them burdens. And that's all I keep telling y'all. Sometimes the truth is painful because it indicates backstabbing, betrayal, personal loss. It reminds me, and it's like a mark of an abruption um, of your current past. It's like a breakup of a relationship some type of a form of this breakup or a block of dreams in this partnership or in this disconnection. This disconnection of this career path, and it better not be because you know you need to focus on that. Okay? While those ending feel real serious and at this moment, you know, like, you're feeling like, you know, like this wound, this wound that is there. And I said that before I read any of these cards. I feel like you need me. It's like you, like these birds, are, they all follow you. They leading you to that path of the healing, they're leading you. It's not one. You got many spirit that guides you and leads you to this path that you're going towards. Okay? Um, because it's time for you to move on. Move on. And face what it is to be faced. I'm talking about I don't care if you've been born or this happened 25 years ago. You need to start facing this, honey, because got to do it. Got to move on. Got to look at things for what it is. And to, okay. And what it is, what is that infinity sign? Okay. Look at her. Look at this lady she said i will pour again this remind me of pisces pouring the cup pouring it out yeah pouring it out like uh-uh pouring the hell out of it um this is a aquarius gemini libra Okay, you got the wands, um, earth sign. I said Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. Here you got tempters. Okay, um, she's pouring everything out of that. She's like, the hell with this. Okay, like, uh uh. Look at her. Now look at her good because. This is a um, Sagittarius. Y'all got a lot of Sagittarius coming up in your car. And that that's spiritual things that's happening. Okay? Spiritual. I'm talking about here. I'm talking about inside. And I'm loving it. Um, And I love these cards. These cards are the bomb. I can read your whole tarot cards off of this. But since I like to know more than what I know, it's what I know. You understand? Because I like to know that what 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 is going on? And I mean, I really like to know. When I get into this, I get into this. I want to know. She's pouring out her cups like she is what fed up or what? Like, uh huh. I got all of it going on, and I don't care what you coming with, but I got something going on, and it's 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 something connected, seriously connected to you. You know what I mean? Like, you look at her. She's pouring it, pouring it. This is an infinity sign, honey. That means that it's not going nowhere and it's there forever. Okay? It's like I walk in the middle of the path 
and nurture my spirit wholesome. Like, you are seriously doing a lot of spirit search at this time, and I'm loving it. Okay? It's like you're blending in this energy with, um, it's like you're doing with humanity. It's like you're meditating. It's like this muscular, muscular, and feminine balance, okay? Um, I feel like you, um, it's like you looking to nurture the spirit within you and being patient at that. And if you got patience, you got it all. It's like you are you're calling up on your creator, on your perf purpose, on focusing on your precious energy right now, honey. It's like you're you being overwhelmed, overdoing it. It's like it's like you like. You're probably watching TV, drinking, eating. You know, are you over? Are you watching too much TV? Are you drinking a lot? Are you eating a lot? Are you overspending? Focusing on relationships that are that doesn't even work on you. Okay. Put more energy into all of this that you should. Okay. We living in a world of this. Right now, that it's like everybody's on a standstill, and it's like, you know, everybody's all in their head. Shit, not all in, only in their head, but in their, they are all in, in everything. But Pisces, I just feel like you are all into yourself and to your spirits. Because you got a lot of wands surrounding you. It's a lot of wands around you. And this is... A Sagittarius, which is a wand. Hmm. I also feel like it's like this connection. This keep calling me to tell you. I feel like it's a connection. This is. I feel like it's a really. It's like telling me like. Don't get caught up on anything that's not going to, that didn't serve you before. Don't do that this time. Like, remain who you are. Remain truth to yourself. Like, don't get caught up on being who you used to be, but into this new you. Because when all of this is over, that genie is coming out and it's getting ready to be some real serious things going on in your life. And that's what I'm saying. If you can make things happen right now for you in a way that it's going to blow you up, you need to do it. And you need to put everything else on the side. But Pisces, we all about love and relationships and all of that. The Knight to, to Nine of Cups. There you go. Making that money. Making that damn money. Okay? Sitting there with your hands folded because you got that money going on. You got it going on, Pisces. Making that money, honey. Look at them cups. You better give me one. You making that money, Pisces. Okay? You coming into some real stuff. Now, all I got to say is that I'm just hoping and praying that whatever it is that you really trying to do with your life, that you're doing it and that you're not holding back with it. Whatever it is, craft anything, that you really doing it. Because I'm open to being grateful from my heart to the gifts that are coming my way. Yes, I am, and I hope you are too. You can ready to be explosive. When this thing is over, you're going to see how real and everything I told you will be.
You need to start doing it. And stop being afraid. And stop saying, oh, it's not going up because it's doing it. I don't give a damn. Do it. Just do it. And be passionate about it. Don't give up on it. Don't give up on it now. You better keep going. Because you get ready to do this. The universe is giving you this gift that you deserve. It's like your, your joy. You're manifesting your dreams. Just gratitude, abundance. You don't, you, you know, like you coming into abundance, happiness. It's like this car is like what you've been wishing for. You getting it. Fulfillment in this journey. Your life is going to be filled with laughters. And like last night, cause you had so much flowers. Like I'm like, damn. And like you are coming into some real, real stuff. And like right now, Pisces, stop it. Stop playing. Like right now, you need to be really like you are spiritual connecting to that. But. Right now, your money is calling you. So you need to get on that and stop playing yourself and stop saying, oh, I'm going to put this on for later on. Oh, I'm going to put this on for later on. Uh -uh. Or I don't see it doing what I wanted to do. So I don't want to, you know, I'm just going to put it on the side and do what I feel like doing like it's a damn toy. No. No, it's not. Take it serious. Because... You get ready to come into some money, and guess what? You ain't going to come in it if you sitting there. Um, not because something ain't looking right right now. You want to stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. You hear me? Do not stop. And I don't know what's going on, but I, I don't know. But let me keep on going with this here. And look at that. Occupation. I'm telling you, stop playing. Something you are not wanting to do is calling you to do it and you're putting it on pause. Stop putting this on pause because this is going to make you very, very wealthy. Beyond where you're at right now, beyond where you were, beyond your, like you can't even see. You need to get the foot on the pedal and press it on gas and keep damn going. Do you understand that you are coming into some real stuff? That this right here is your time to get it together? This world don't stop all the time like this. Are you crazy? Are you crazy? Do you see what's going on around you? Everything is on still. You better stop playing with me. That's all I got to say. Y'all playing now. Y'all playing. <coughs> Excuse me. Tell me what this occupation of Pisces. So, <coughs> are you feeling sick? Are you afraid of everything that's going on around you? Are you afraid that if you get a cold, like, a cold ain't like it used to be? It's like you are, like, like, really sitting there. What is this bad health is? What is it? What is it? What is it? Tell me what it is. What is it? expectations you're working hard new occupation bad health are you sick are you feeling sick are you sick of worrying are you sick of 
feeling that you can't pay your bills? Are you just sick of being tired of, of everything? Are you afraid? Because what, like, health expectations, like, hello, what are you looking at? What is it? It's like, I'm stuck on these particular cars and I need answers. So you got occupation, bad health, and expectation. What is it that you sitting here? Or, I mean, do you have someone in a hospital? Are you worrying about a loved one? What, I mean, expectations, like what imprisonment? What are you feeling like? I ain't going to say what you feel like because Pisces, you always in your thoughts. You don't know how to let things go. And I just said that. Like you, I don't know. Like it can be in your face. Your money can be in your face, but you rather worry about your relationship than worry about your damn money. That's crazy. Look at this. Pisces, please, you rather worry about your relationship and your love life than your money. You cannot focus outside of that because you're stuck in your feelings. But I guarantee you, if you do this here with this occupation, you ain't going to have no time to do nothing else because this is happening. And I don't even know to tell you, you need to let things be and let it go because you don't know how to do that. So give me an answer for this. Okay, we got that something wealth. So let's go back to this um, first row. Okay, something well. The hand man. This man got his hand in the water, in the water, hanging upside down in the water. And you've been going through this since. Excuse me, I'm sorry. You've been going through this since last year. Feeling like this. You've been going through this for like two years, I would say. Or like a year. The last year was crazy. The last year was crazy for you. So if I would put a definitely amount a month, I would put. So it's been, it's been like 15 months now, and I'm putting a time and a date that some of y'all been going through craziness since last, this started like February of last year, and this year, February, like the 18th or something, somewhere around there, y'all went through some crazy stuff. And I feel like it's now what? February, March, April? Y'all just feel like y'all are coming out of something. And this was in a this situation here. Because this person's hand is in the water. The water. Not only is he hanging upside down, but his hands is in the water. And I'm telling you right now, he's hanging there. They got his ass tied up. He's hanging there, honey. And his hand is in the water. 
and his eyes are closed and it's like he's in his deep thoughts stuck again i keep telling y'all that y'all don't see y'all wealth coming in front of y'all if y'all wanted to because all y'all keep thinking about your heart and in your thoughts I, that's the thing i don't get I, and I'm going to work with these cards. I love these cards. I love them. I'm going to do, do these cards right here. So you got the King of Cups. Look at that man. Get ready to fall off the chair. Look how crazy this wave is. Because even though this person cares about you, they are just still going into their own emotions. Okay? You got the Seven of Wands. Pisces. This right here is the one I just put down the King of Cups. You see, I went right past it. I'm so sick of people being in their emotions. Please stop. Um, Pisces. Um, Pisces, Scorpio, and um, Cancer. I ain't got time for that. They are stuck in their emotions. This person are stuck in their emotions. Okay. The Seven of Wands. Look at this. Got the shockers all over you, baby. Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands, baby. Like, <laughs> you got the King of Cups. The King of Cups, right? And like I said, I, I can go right past that King of Cups. Is all, all I know is I'm sick of people being in their emotions. I'm sick of it. Like, first of all, you hanging upside down. And then... They and their thoughts and, you know, um, they, you know, it's like their heart is holding deep wisdom and love and, and they use it to connect to you. Love, emotions, intelligence, patience, okay, st stable, balance, creativity, okay, someone, um, Someone that is very nurturing and very wise, is a wise leader, okay? He's soft, you know? Sometimes, it's like something unexpected comes into, into this King of Cups, this awareness. Something that may shake another person conscious and, to, and send them into a state of shock and stress and feeling um angry um relating to his emotion status okay like this person is going through something and it shows very here that they are really going through it I feel like um, although he's very successful in leading and being a leader, I also feel that I also feel like like this person is like someone that you can marry. Just got that type of feeling going on. Okay? But I feel like he's in I feel like something happened that maybe you found out or something about this person that shook this foundation. I wouldn't be surprised we don't get the tower. Because this person feels like this relationship is very off balance. And it's like in a stormy situation. 
did you find out something? Because yesterday you had some <laughs> flowers, but it's a baby there. I don't know why I said that just now. I, it was a baby. I don't care what nobody said. The Seven of Wands. Okay. Yes, it was a baby. I don't care what y'all say. I seen a baby. If you go back, you'll see it too. Y'all ain't gonna argue with me about no seeing no baby because I seen the damn baby. I seen and you see hear me say the damn baby. That's some crazy shit. I shouldn't even say that. The damn baby. Ooh. So it may it must not be yours. Know what that means. <sighs> you are deserving of success. You are brave. You shine a light on the world. Creator. You 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 you're just so grinded. You protecting yourself. Your movement and your growth. You're very creative. You remain ahead, feeling sometimes vulnerable. You need to share your ideas. You need to to put this out. Whatever it is you want to do, you need to do it. Felt like you made it to where you want to be. Feel like you have accomplished a lot of things in your life. I feel like it's a bright, it's like the, the it's like you're, you're sitting in your glory. But I feel like, I feel like almost like you, how can I say this? I feel like, Where you at within yourself, right? Outside of relationship, you're really growing. You're growing. Like you are sure of that. I feel like you're sure of, of where you're at in your life. Okay, I'm talking about in your life. Like your goals. Like where you're heading to. Like what like you know that you're creating something and that you're gonna be successful with it. And that you know that at the end of this, it's gonna be serious for you. Like you're coming into all of this stuff, right? Like a project or Something that's going to bring you wealth. Okay? And that's within yourself. And then I see that in this relationship, I feel like you're feeling like something came out in the open. There's supposed to have been a secret, and it's got you pissed off, but you, for, for some reason, I feel like you're still calm, but this person, I feel like they're kind of stuck, and I feel like it's somebody that loves you, but somehow something happened that they are really feeling not sure of whether or not you're going to be there. But you are like on top of your game and on top of the world. That's crazy. That's some crazy thing there because it's almost like you're you're being guided from the universe to to not even sit there and put up with this nonsense. I feel like the universe is telling you that that you can move on because check this out. You got the hang the man again. Now you got the hang the man with a woman and then the hang the man with a man. Okay? And then 
I'm going to take this when you got death and rebirth. Okay, and then I'm going to shuffle these cards now because I have to get that because it's sitting here saying you better get me out of this deck. Okay, and then let's go. Come on, spirit. Tell me about this Haina man and this death and rebirth. Look at that. People are looking at you like the star that you are. People are, can't get enough of you. Okay. Uh, here we go with these flowers. Here we go with this flower and this man. The cup. I, I, I'm here to tell you something. Okay. Let me, let me go back to this reading. All right. Then I'm going to do the love card. First of all, you are being parade in your parade, baby. Celebrate your accomplish, your accomplishment. Things is happening for you. Then what? Then the spirits are guiding you to move on and move forward. To leave all those burdens behind. Then you come to the tempted. Okay? You look, it's a forever here. Infinity. She's spilling her cups out. Yes, she is. Like the hell. Um, I, it is what it is. Um, I can't. You know what I mean? I'm coming into nine of cups. You almost said that ten. Nine of cups. Money. Occupations. Get on it, baby. Get on that occupation. What is holding you back? Then you come into this bad health. Are you feeling sick? You better not come out with this thing that's going on in this world. And I keep telling you, wash your hands and do what you need to do. You need to do what I tell you to do. You don't need to be in no hospital. Because that place is full of nastiness right now. And even if you ain't got something, you'll get it. Because guess what? They ain't got no room to put you on a, where you're supposed to be. They don't care. You need to wash your hands because it says bad health. And after that, you as what? Expectations. You got big expectations, girl. Big ones. Why? Because this person he was dealing with had you all up in here, locked down and inside yourself that you couldn't move out. Okay? And for some reason, I feel like you still kind of feel stuck. And you do. Because you stuck in your past, you stuck, 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 and you stuck wherever you at because you feel like, uh-uh, I've been here and I am not going to even look at this person again because I cannot get over the pain I went through with this person. I'm sick of it. And for those who are still have these people in their life just running in and out, it's craziness. Okay, sun and wealth, you're coming to that regardless. That's going to happen regardless. I got birds all over, right in front of me, everywhere. Thank you. That means good. All right, are you stuck? Look at this. Your hands in the water, stuck. This person's literally stuck in their thoughts, in their feelings. Can't even move on because they're really stuck. You got this king of cup that somehow feel like he's on rocky road and can't, though he loves you and all, he did something that wasn't right. Wasn't right. And I mean, it wasn't right. I read yesterday's car and that was last night was crazy. Seven of wands, doing your thing. Doing your thing. Coming to what? To hang the man now. You still what? At least you come from this to this person putting you here because it's probably was something you wasn't even expecting. But he kept, sorry, sorry about that. But he kept you like 
in your thoughts is like you and and almost and also 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 so wait a minute so with this bad health and then you're expecting did you go to doctors or you're expecting to hear from the outcome or is because i keep going back to this bad health this bad health card then you got expectations what is going on like Y'all need to wash your hands, I know that, okay? Because you're feeling like you're expecting something. You're expecting something from this. But I felt like you, you got, you got, you feel like you still in your thoughts, locked up in your thoughts. I see a mouse. A mouse ain't good because a mouse takes from you. Takes from you. You see that mouse on there, right? And then is a lock. So is this mouse like around to take from you? Because the mouse is free, but you are locked up. Is this person taken from you? Because I feel like this person knows your wealth, knows that you're coming into something because they know that you've been working on this for a long time and you're really starting to see your wealth. And it's like you start to see it, but I'm telling you, you're going to be on top. But this person knows it because you are stuck in your feelings and they're just wanting to take something from you because that now start to make sense and then you're like sitting there thinking about do i want to be you know i don't want to be with me thinking all the worst of them but then you're, you're stuck on it because for some reason i don't care what nobody say Something happened, and this person cares for you and all, but something happened outside of this relationship that's shaking this foundation up. You came up to some news because something is not right, and I feel that it's not right. I'm feeling it's not right. And you got spiritual cards. You got the seven of wands. Look at you. You're like on top of the mountain and you're holding fire on one and that wand on the other. Like what? Now, you was on the hand of man, but look at this. You free yourself. You are free yourself. Look at that. You're no longer hanging. You're no longer tied up. You free yourself. You free yourself. You have free yourself in the sun, honey. Right here, you was in the water. Right here, the sun is shining on you. Because it was, you had to bury all of this to be reborn again. To be reborn again. Okay? Now you come into this celebration where people are acknowledging you, you sitting on stage, and all of this is going on. People are clapping for you. People are like, yes. Like, what? Pisces is all that in some. Like, you got people admiring you. They, they are, you are like, people are looking at you like a celebrity. You have a comp, look at your hands up and look at that 
one again on fire and look at that wreath. Stand in ovation, Pisces, for you. Then you got this Knight of Cup. Knight of Cup is, is someone coming in with some news, flower. They want to take you out. They're younger. Younger. Look at that. Got the envelope, got the bottle of wine. They got some flowers you can tell. Look at them. They got tattoos on them. Bad boy, honey. Number one thing, you had a king here. Got somebody younger here. This king here done rock a foundation. And I feel like they love you, and they want to give you it all, but somehow something happened. I don't know if you, in your past, and I'm, let me get back to this. Let's get back to this. Stop. And I got to take it here, okay? I feel like you have come out of something that you are honored You'll fulfill, you worked hard for this. Okay, you are glory and success. And I, I see it here, two ways. Okay. Um, you got this car twice. Twice. You got it at the beginning and you got it at the end. That is telling me that you've been working hard on this for a long time. Whatever it is, you've been doing this for a long This ain't just happened. You've been doing this a long time. The Ten of Swords, you have come because what? You got the spirits guiding you. You got all of these spirits up on you, baby, walking you through this. Okay? You done poured out everything, honey, because this is somebody that's forever. Forever. Whatever you are doing, it's like you are coming into it. All right? You got enough to give, baby. Look, look at your cups. Enough to give, right? Because you are coming into this that you worked hard for. And you're building this, honey. And it's there. It's already there. You're working on it. And all of this is just going to boof. Okay? You might not even go back to your job because you're going to be successful. All right? But then... On top of that, you got somebody that's trying to make you sick. And when I mean sick, that means you're worrying, you're stressing. You cannot, like, you just worrying. Why? I'm going to tell you why. Because your expectation for this relationship that you had, and I believe this is a fire sign that you was with, Sagittarius, this person, very sharp, very handsome. This person, you had a whole lot of expectations going on. And you were seeing everything in a whole nother way. But somehow, you found out something. But you're still waiting on it. You know it. You know. But you're waiting on it. Everything. It's like you know, but now you wait for something to unfold. Like it's, it's out in the open. But now you're waiting on literally for it to come and unfold. If it makes any sense. I don't know. It's almost like you found out something, but now you're waiting on it. You're, you're just sitting there waiting on all of this after you found out because it was painful what you found out about. So then you feel like this person, you wonder, was he with me because he wanted to take from me? Because you got a mouse there. 
and you feel like now with all of this that you found out, you feel like you're stuck and you feel like it's, and I'm going to tell you why you feel like you're stuck because maybe this person that you with said, I keep saying Sagittarius. I don't know why, but it's a fire sign. I feel like this person, it's almost feel like you feel like whatever you found out is not good. And you wait for this to happen because you already know about it, but it, it's almost like a birth. I don't know if somebody's pregnant. You're waiting on this person you were seeing who had somebody on the outside got them pregnant and they're going to have this baby. And you're waiting on this outcome, like, for this person to have this baby. It's such weird things that's going on. But you feel like you stuck to this. And why? Because you feel like this person, you was you've been with this person for like eight years. And I feel like this person has done a lot as far as doing things for you, like you know, like maybe they're been working on your home or like they're there because they, you need them to do things for you. If it makes any sense, I'm talking to someone. This is crazy. But also, it's like, they are doing something that will cost you if they wasn't doing it a lot of money. If you had a cop contractor or, you know, this person's done a lot for you. It would have cost you a lot of money if they wasn't in your life. But this person also know that Pisces got something big going on and you're going to be successful, Pisces. They know that. And I feel like that is that mouse there. It is there because they know that you're getting ready to do something big. You're doing it already, but it's going to be big. And Pisces, I feel like this person feels like they are stuck. Because they, you found out about what took place and their foundation is Toward two pieces. Look, look at that. Water ain't right. Nothing ain't right. Because it's almost like you're not, like you don't even believe in anything they say anymore because they lost everything the trust, the loyalty, and all which y'all had. But you're not stupid, Pisces, because you know what you need from them. And you know until that is done, whatever it is. With this person, it's like right now you need them, but they hurt you and they cross you in the worst way. You see that seven of wands, okay? Because now you're not stuck, but they are because they know they fucked up, but you're not stuck. Because you got that plan that you are going to execute. Do you understand? You executing this plan. It's crazy. This reading took me around, but now it's right on point. So, you're not hanging anymore. Because look at you. You've been enlightened by the truth. And you said, they ain't killing me. I'm coming out of this bigger and better than I ever been. Because it's a death and now is a new rebirth. You thought you was going to stress me out over this that you did? Mm-mm. Because -mm. while you think you do, that plan B is always working. And when the plan B is done, see you.
because you will shine and people are sitting there clapping. You are going to be bigger than you ever been in your life, Pisces. Let me tell you, Pisces, they may think they got you, but they don't. And it's somebody new. <laughs> Is coming into you, your life. Look, because baby, I don't give a damn how much love he did give you, but what he did, it ain't no coming back. But you ain't that dumb that you gonna make sure he do everything you need to be done before you kick his ass out of your life. Because you're coming into this, and they know you are. So that's why they just sitting there trying to hold you locked up, and that mouse wants to take from you, and all of that is in your past. Because they're the only one that's sitting shaken up. And I don't care who it is and how much they got. Pisces, they shook your world up, a baby. It was for a minute, because now you know. And guess what? You know the weird thing about it? They never told you about this, Pisces. Your spirits told you. Your intuitions told you. And when you came out with it, it's almost like you knew it and then you found in their phone something happened. And it shook everything up. And then... They thought you had, they had you all worked up because they got you. You were sick over this. You was having it. Let me tell you something. This was a third party situation and it got real ugly. But they thought that they had you, honey. He, he, he. Oh, no. They always thought that. But guess what? Because they after you and what you got. Because you got more than they will ever have. And I'm talking to a certain Pisces, honey. You know what I'm talking about. All right? This is a certain Pisces. Let me tell you something, baby. You done broke out of that crap. And you said, I killed it. And I'm reborn. And look at the hands clapping for you, honey. Do you see it? You are a celebrity. And guess what? This baby's coming. When all this is over, you got wealth, someone new is going to give it all to you. And whatever this was, will be your past. Because you ain't letting that go into everything you want is done your way. And then it's the highway. I'm loving it. Did you get this reading? This reading had me all over. But finally, I know what it's saying because the spirits don't lie to me. And I told you, my cards can say what they want. But when the spirit says read it right, it's done right. And I, it's an hour and 16 minutes. I said, I ain't letting this, this reading go. This reading's got to be said right. And now you got it right. Okay, snakes. They up a bunch of damn snakes. Okay, in the grass, honey, trying to take from you. Because they think that you're going to give them their rights. <laughs> but you're giving them their right out that damn door as soon as they give you what you want. That's what I'm talking about. Queen Pisces. That's when you become a queen. Flirting. Y'all probably flirt with this person. This Not this person, but this person on the phone or texting or whatever. Y'all doing some flirting because y'all coming to enlightenment with others, girl. Y'all already got this plan going. And it's a certain Pisces I'm talking to. Okay? It's a certain Pisces that Lisa is talking to. This reading is for not... Let your friends help you. Hello. Ask and accept support from others. And this is the right time to do it. But baby... Pisces, you on fire. They thought they had you little sneaky, conniving snakes. And they both were sitting there acting like you was in the dark. Who's in the dark? When you get done with him, 
or them, they will be sitting there in shame because you are coming into wealth and they think they're taking some of that. But you got your plan B. They're saying, I'm getting everything I want from him. So when I kick his ass bye-bye, everything is done. Everything is done. You're going to be saying bye-bye to that crap. Separated. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. I'm telling you, this is not over. They think it is. They think it's all done in peaches and cream. You're going to say bye-bye to that you're saying bye-bye to this. Because I swear to you, it's a baby involved. And I'm not lying. I know it is. Because this new man that you got, baby, he wants to be playful. Y'all like romance. It's, and it's in the youth. He's bringing the, the, the all out of you, out of you. I want one more call because you. Very soon. Thank you, Lord. Clear decision what you want so that it's coming clear, honey. Clearly, clear it. Decision what you want so that it's coming to you very soon. And if not now, because this person is coming. And you're going to get rid of this trash, trash, trash. This is for particular Pisces trash that you had in your life that thought that they was getting away with something and wanted your money because you're coming into some big big stuff and I'm talking about major big all right I'm talking about something that is a baby right now that is going to be poof explosive and this person right here I'm not lying to you he got someone pregnant. You found out about it because it was in yesterday's reading and it's shaking up his world because he knows that deep in his heart you are leaving him. Pisces, you get all what you can from that trash. Everything you need to be done before he go. It costs you a lot of money. Make sure you get him good because he is trash in your life. All right? And he bought enough damn trash in your life. And he, I'm not lying, this person can, he's like um, a fire sign. Yes, he is. Because this, he's a fire sign. He is um, like um, area set. And I'm telling you, Sagittarius just keeps pumping out of my head. It ain't a Leo. It's a set. Somebody got a Sagittarius that's done this little sneaky thing going on. And they think that they got away with it, but they really didn't. <laughs> because Pisces, you ain't sleeping on shit. And if anybody knows a Pisces, Pisces, you don't let go of nothing until you got what you want out of it. And then you'll let go. And you'll be happy to let go. Because Pisces, y'all don't let go of the best. Okay? They torture y'all. This ain't nothing. All right? So while he think he got you him down, you got him. And surprise, it's coming. Right after you get everything done that you want done and I don't know if it's in your home or things that you need to be done that you know will cause you and you know this person will do it. You after you get all that done, you gonna kick him right to the curb. Bye boo boo. Talk to the hand. Cause guess what? I'm moving along with my big old pocketbook going to the bank and it ain't you that was invited to this. You are far from being invited. You know you're nowhere near this. You won't even get a dime from this. Okay? Okay, not even a dime from it because I've realized that you ain't crap. And you'll belittle me, honey, below. And don't let this person keep telling you like they telling you, I did this because you say you didn't want me. I started seeing my I don't give a damn. All right? Because he should have used protection, which he didn't. And that's why she's having a baby. And guess what? If you didn't find out about this, he wasn't going to tell you. He's a damn liar if he said he's telling you he's a liar. And this reading is for a particular Pisces. Do you understand? Talk to you, Pisces. Love you. Add me all over this table. It's an hour and 24 minutes. This was a deep reading. But I'm telling you, Pisces, the Spirit said this is what it is. And the reason why? Because it said, Lisa, go back to last night. 
this man try to make you sick to your stomach. He try to literally weigh you down like he try to demolish your spirit. This man that's in your presence. Certain Pisces this is for. You know what I'm talking about, right? You found out about it. Get what you want out of it. And guess what? Because that new baby is coming to you. <laughs> yes! 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 You better write and tell me all about it. Love y'all. See y'all this afternoon. Okay? And JoJo want to say hi, but y'all, can y'all see his little badass? Look, look at this. Can that's him. That's JoJo. Y'all y'all met JoJo. He loves to come right when I do a read it and start jumping and acting crazy. But I love y'all, and guess what? You right on time, Pisces. You ain't dumb. You know what you're doing. Queen Pisces, thumbs up, hands up. Champagne, if I had my champagne, I'm going to break that champagne this afternoon. I ain't lying. I'm going to get a bottle of champagne for this reading, and I'm going to make sure I toast it tonight because you deserve it. Do you hear me? It's a Pisces. Don't play with me. This is a certain Pisces. Don't let that snake bite you or that rat take from you. Love you. Talk to you later. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and wash your hands because on that card it said health, bad health. Yeah, don't forget that. Love you.